Hi there, this is Terry from StampinMagic.com. Welcome back to my channel. Today's project is this gift card holder or money wallet. I've used the warm hearted hostess stamp set to decorate the front and I've also used some of our all is bright designer series paper. Inside I've created a little pocket where you could add some money or you could add a gift card. If you wanted to, you could add a white cardstock panel at the top so you could write a message, but I've left all mine blank today. I'm going to start with half a sheet of our standard size cardstock. Now this could be A4 or 8.5 by 11, it doesn't matter. And then I'm going to score it with the long side across the top at three and a half inches and seven inches. The first thing I'm going to do is fold on both the score lines and I'm going to reinforce the folds using my bone folder. Then I'm going to create the pocket and I'll do this by adding a little line of glue against the side edges. If you wanted to, you could use tape adhesive for this, but that would make the pocket slightly narrower. And then I'll fold that piece up hold it in place for a second or two and then again use my bone folder to make sure it's firmly stuck down. I'm going to cover the front of this gift card holder and also the front of the pocket with some more of the All Is Bright designer series paper. First of all I'm going to layer the paper onto some cherry cobbler cardstock and then I'll position these panels onto the gift card holder. This paper I'm using is really beautiful. On one side you have photorealistic images and then on the alternate side you have more traditional Christmas designs and colours. And I'm going to be using the more traditional side today. I'm going to be adding a sentiment panel to the front of this gift card holder and I'm going to use a sentiment from the Winter Woods stamp set. I'm just stamping this in cherry cobbler ink onto some of our normal weight Whisper White card. To cut this out I'm going to use one of the ovals from the Stitched Shapes dies and then I want to create a cherry cobbler mat to go underneath this so I'm going to select one of the scalloped ovals from the layering oval framelets. I'm going to have another mat underneath and this is going to be in crumb cake and I'm using a die from the stitched labels framelet set for this. Once all the pieces have been cut out using the Big Shot, they can then be layered together. I'm using wet glue to layer the sentiment onto the cherry cobbler mat. And then I'm going to use dimensionals to layer the rest of the panel. Thank you. 
and then the panel can be added onto the front of the gift card holder. I'm just using my grid paper here to help me get it centered. And that's it. It's complete. It's such a simple project this. Um, obviously you can decorate your gift card holders however you would like to decorate them. You can keep it as simple or as fancy as you want. And you can use any stamp sets or dies that you have on hand. Now I've already made lots of these ready for the forthcoming Christmas season. These first two I created using the Merry Christmas Finlets dies. These are word dies. I've also used some more of the All is Bright papers. Now for this first card I kept the words as one layer and just glued them flat onto the front of the card. But this second one, the Happy Christmas, I cut four of each of those words and stacked them on top of each other. So it's got some lovely dimension. This next one I used uh, one of our new hostess stamp sets called Hung With Care. And again the background paper is from the All Is Bright pack. The sentiment on this dear card also came from the Hung With Care hostess stamp set. And then the dear die I used is from the Detailed Deer Thinlets dies set. And then finally these two were created using another hostess stamp set called Warm Hearted. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this project. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notifications bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Bye for now.